Hey, what's going on? Thanks for stopping by. First off, I just want to say congratulations on your Omega Pro purchase. In this video, I'm going to show you how to disassemble the Omega Pro for cleaning and lubrication. While I'm doing that, I'm also going to show you guys how to swap out your quick change spool. And finally, I'm going to show you how to swap your handle from a left hand retrieve to a right hand retrieve in this scenario. Tools you need is a fat flathead screwdriver, a rather small Phillips head screwdriver. Hopefully you have a cleaning kit laying around but all you really need is some oil and some grease. You're gonna need some gloves, because it gets pretty messy inside the Omega Pro in terms of grease and oil. And then finally, you need an awesome vintage beer tin to keep all your parts in a neat, nice little area so nothing gets lost. All right, the first thing we gotta do is we gotta tighten down the drag all the way. And what that does is that helps us out later for uh, taking off the quick change spool. Next, we gotta depress the thumb button, just like that. And what that does is it retracts the pickup pins in the spinner head assembly. All right, next we're gonna get a good grip on the handle and we're gonna unscrew the front cover assembly just like so. We'll just lay that off to the side. Now these are the pickup pins that I'm talking about. When you turn the handle, the little pickup pins uh, stick out. So when you depress that thumb button, boom, they retract. So that helps you take the front cover assembly off. On some models, it's impossible to take the front cover assembly off unless you depress the uh, thumb button. All right, next we're gonna Restrain the handle just like that get a good grip on it and then we're going to unscrew We're going to pop the spinner head assembly off it just pops on off And we're going to set that aside So right now our quick change spool is exposed and since we lock down our drag the spool Carrier assembly will be stationary. So we just twist it clockwise pull off the quick change spool And we grab our replacement the cool thing about these quick change spools is that allows you to run two different types of line on two spools And then you can change out your reel in minutes so if you're doing two different types of fishing, wham, bam, you're done. All right, so once you do that, you take your spinner head assembly and screw that back on, just like so, till it's tight all the way. You can press the thumb button, that retracts your uh, pickup pins, and then uh, you can loosen up the drag. And at this point, uh, you probably wouldn't have a rubber band around your spool, uh, you would un wind your line, run it through the line hole in the front cover assembly and screw your front cover assembly back on, just like so. And you pull the line out, run it through your rod and you're ready to rock and roll. All right, let's get back to where we left off. Now we have a reel without the quick change spool. So we're just looking at the spool carrier assembly and we got two holes here, one on the left, one on the right. And this is what holds our back cover screws. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna fit our Phillips screwdriver in there and we're just gonna unscrew this guy until we feel it start slipping. That way I know it's all the way loose. I'm gonna grab the left one. And I kinda have my pinky down here holding up the back cover assembly, just like so. That way it won't drop down on me here. All right, so that left one's slipping. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the reel, shake and bake, pull that out, boom. So now I have two back cover screws that just popped out. Let's see what they look like. So we'll drop those down in our tin. And at this point, the back cover assembly just pops on off. You can see our drag wheel uh, just popped out as well. All right, so now we're looking at the internals. So we got pretty much, we'll call it five areas that we need to lubricate. We got a ball bearing right here behind the pinion gear, and we got two ball bearings on either side of the main drive gear. So what we're gonna do, is we're going to take our oil. We apply a little bit of oil on this top bearing here behind the pinion gear. So we're gonna apply a little bit of oil on this left ball bearing and a little bit of oil on the right ball bearing. So now everything is properly oiled. Now we're gonna focus on our grease. All right, so uh, what we'll do is we put a little bit of grease on your pinion gear right up here, and then we'll put a little bit of grease on the main drive gear. Rotate that through. Evenly distribute that grease all over. All right, now we're ready to reassemble our reel. All right, before we continue, I forgot to mention, you should probably be looking in here for any uh, dirt and debris and cleaning that out. This reel is in pretty good shape, so all I had to do was uh, lubricate it. All right, next thing uh, we're gonna do is we're gonna reassemble it. We're gonna take our drag wheel, reinsert it right here. Flip that down, take your back cover assembly, find the drag wheel notch and the Zepco name, and we'll just press it in just like that. I'm gonna use my bottom fingers, hold that back cover assembly in place. I'm gonna take the back cover screws, drop those in in each hole. All right, 
So now that we have the back cover screws inserted, now it's time to screw them down. We're just going to hand tighten them nice and snug. We're not going to reef down on them. Boom. So now that they're tight, we're going to check functionality. Everything seems to be working. Cool. So next we take our quick change spool. Turn it till it drops down. It says lock counterclockwise. And we twist it till it stops. Next we take the spinner head assembly, screw that down until it locks in nice and tight. Boom. We're gonna press that thumb button, get those pickup pins down, and we screw on the front cover assembly. Of course, if you're about to go fishing, you can run your line through the line hole in the front cover assembly. Uh, but now, just for demonstration purposes, we'll just close it on up. Get the threads lined up. There we go. All right, so our reel is fully assembled. All right, next I'm going to show you guys how to swap the handle from a left hand retrieve to a right hand retrieve. So what we do is we take our big flathead screwdriver, we take this end cap, and we just unscrew it off. Unscrew that bad boy off. Now we've just exposed the crank rod nut assembly. We'll unscrew that bad boy. It comes out like that. There's a little spacer sitting on it, so we'll put that down. Now our handle pulls out. You notice on the side of the handle, it's angled. And what that does is it fits into the angled housing inside of the reel. So we'll just take that. Now if you want a different handle, obviously you just throw that one in. But uh, we'll use a stubble one today. Drop my spacer, put that back on. I won't forget that. So we'll drop that in. Make sure it's flush mounted. That way we know the uh, angle housing is uh, married up to the handle. We'll take our crank rod nut assembly, drop that in on the other side, and screw that down. Boom, snug. Now we're going to take our end cap, screw that down by hand. Now we have a right hand retrieved, checking functionality. I had to press the button, I can hear the pickup pins retract, now they extend. Everything is working in good order. Drag works as well. And that's how you break down, clean the Omega Pro, swap the handle from a left hand to a right hand retrieve, and I showed you also how to uh, swap out the quick change bulls. Hope this was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, hit the like and subscribe. As always, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you get out and go fish. We'll see you later.